Are you getting what you expected out of Agile? For a lot of the teams I talk to, the answer is no. They were promised one thing, but they're actually getting something not quite as exciting as what they were promised. Diana Larson and I have been studying this problem, and we've created, we've created a model which we think describes what's going on. There's actually several stages of development that teams go through as they learn Agile, but you don't just automatically go from one to the next. You need to invest in it, you need to spend time on it, and you need to practice. And for a lot of teams, they don't get to the point of doing the moving seamlessly and fluidly from opportunity to opportunity as people who really sell Agile talk about. So if you'd like to achieve that promise, and you'd like to learn how to create and grow your proficiency in Agile, please come join me as we talk about Agile fluency.